There's nothing better than a big bowl of hot chowder. And today we're gonna make corn chowder. So come, come on, on in. Well, welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Shotgun Red. I'm Jennifer. I'm Sheila. And if you are just joining us for the first time, welcome to our channel and thanks for all of you returning to see us this week. We appreciate you and we love chowder. chowder. Yes, you remember when we did it in um, Canada? Yes. And Niagara Falls? Niagara Falls, Steve and all of us, we went up there and they had... In fact, clam chowder. Clam chowder on that one. And we got the bowls and we were sitting out there, all of us. And in fact, I think Steve released that one. He did. Right here on the channel. So I'll reference that so you guys can, can see that one too. But today we're making corn chowder. <laughs> Good. It's really good. So we have broke out the Dutch oven and we've got all of our ingredients prepped and ready to go. So we're going to take you back to the stove and show you how it's done. Okay, so we've got our Dutch oven and what we did is we took some bacon and now this calls for six strips of bacon. But Sheila and I have plans for this bacon, don't we? Yes, we do. <laughs> we always do when it comes to bacon. We do. So we went ahead and put the whole package in this Dutch oven here because we're going to go ahead and fry this bacon up because we're going to use it in our next recipe as well. So we're going to get this bacon cooked and we'll leave about six strips worth in here and take the rest out. All right, so we got that bacon all out of there. We used a slotted spoon to get it out and we're going to set that aside. And there, we left a little bit of the bacon grease in the bottom here. And we are going to add in some butter. And we're going to add in about three tablespoons of butter into this bacon grease. So we can get our base going here. And we love cooking with butter, not margarine. No. Yes, we do. Butter, real butter, real right? Butter. Oh, not that other stuff. And then we've got one sweet Vidalia onion, as yeah. Steve would say. <laughs> we were talking about that, how much he liked his sweet Vidalia onions. Yes. He <laughs> loved those things. And we're going to put that right on there, diced. Saute that up a little bit. Just until it's tender. We were, we were laughing at all those recipes. He puts them sweet Vidalias in, huh? He does. And some of our comments have been about, uh, he always puts those Vidalias in. <laughs> all right, and then, once these are soft, we're going to add in a little bit of flour, three tablespoons of all-purpose flour, and this will be our thickening agent. And we're going to cook this up just a little bit. Just a minute or two until that flour cooks. And then you're going to put three cups of chicken broth in. And that's... Alright, so we're just going to whisk this up a little bit and let this come to a, a boil here. If you love what we're doing here on Cooking with Shotgun Red and our recipes, just give us a thumbs up. Yeah, let us know you're watching and comment. Yes. You know, we, we, we check all the comments. And we love the comments. We respond, and we love to hear your ideas and things you guys come up with, too. I know. I love some of those ideas. I think, why didn't we think of that? Exactly. All right, so, so as soon as it starts coming to a boil, we're going to add the rest of our ingredients in. All right, you can see that starting to boil. Look at that boil, Sheila. Yeah, and that's getting hot, hot, hot. All right, so what we're going to do, now we've got about, is this about eight potatoes we, cupped up, we cut up, right? Right. Eight potatoes, and we just cube those up. You can do them however you want. Um, if you want them bigger, but we like them bite-sized since we're making a soup. And we're just gonna. It makes it cook faster. Yeah, and then we're gonna add some salt and pepper to taste. Well, probably oh, about a quarter teaspoon pepper. We might add a little bit more. I don't know. I like pepper. I like salt too. <laughs> we, we like that, that pepper works. and salt. 
All right, so what we're gonna do is let those potatoes cook. I'm gonna go ahead and cover it. We're gonna cover that up and slightly cover that and let that come to a boil and let them get soft and then we'll add the rest of the ingredients. Now these potatoes are fork tender. We are going to add a cup and a half of milk. And this is just whole milk. We're gonna stir that in. Now it's gonna start getting creamy. We're gonna put a cup and a half of heavy whipping cream. Now that's some good stuff there. And that's gonna make it really creamy. Just hear my dog walking by. Know, little, putter. <laughs> little putters. <laughs> I'll have to show a picture of putter. Yeah, he's so cute. He's a cutie. He's little. He is little. And now we've got three cans of drained sweet corn. And we're gonna kernel corn. Just pour that in. Because that's gonna get all the good stuff. And this is drained. And that's what makes corn chowder. Yummy corn chowder. Yeah. Who doesn't like sweet corn? We love sweet corn. We used to get that on the road a lot. Yep. Okay, and then I've got a little bit of sugar. This is two teaspoons of sugar, just to get us a little bit more sweet. Because we are sweet. We are. <laughs> you wouldn't believe how sweet we are. That's right. And I'm just gonna do a little taste test to make sure we don't need any more salt and pepper. Just a little bit. Go on, taste it up. That tastes pretty good. I think we're good. So uh, we're gonna let we're gonna keep this on low and cover it and let it simmer, and we'll check it in about five minutes. If not sooner. If not sooner, because <laughs> Sheila's hungry. <laughs> so we got it off the stove. It was we were only on there about another about five six minutes right. until it started to boil, and it's pretty much done. The potatoes are soft, and the corn's all in there. Yummy and creamy and creamy. I think we should serve it up. What do you think? Here. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, here. Put it on <laughs> give over. It, give it, give it, give it. Look at that. There you go. Look at that. Look. Yummy. Mm. Corn chowder. So good. Mm-hmm. Who doesn't like potatoes? Now you can do this to taste uh, as far as seasoning is concerned. If you want to add more seasoning, you can. You really don't need it. I mean, it's it's pretty good like this. And then we've got a little bit of cheddar yes. that we can put in for garnish on top. I always like to put a little cheddar. Do you like a little cheddar? I do. All right, I'll give you a little cheddar. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give and we got a little bacon that we fried up earlier. A little garnish. Ready? I'm ready. Ready? Mm. Beautiful. Looks so good. It does. Hey, are you ready to go? I, am, I ready. think we should try it. Ready? Here we go. It's gonna be hot, so make sure you blow. Yeah. <laughs> are you ready? Yum. We make one of our faces. Mmm. <laughs> now that is good. Now that is comfort food. Mm. Oh my gosh. I love chowder. Mm -hmm. Isn't it good? Any oh my gosh. Any kind of try this, try this potato with it. We can take a little rolls. Oh yeah, we got our... our, our I love doing stuff like Our this. quick rolls that we yes. made. And we're going to add that and I love putting have on some here. of that on the side too. Quick rolls are great to have. This is a very fast, mm. easy dinner. Yes. And make those quick rolls with it and it's you got like yourself a... in here like this. <laughs> and then it up. I know. Sheila, she likes to create things with her food. I like to eat southern. Well, if Steve would say, is this the best? Corn chowder. If it ain't, it, it ought, ought to be. be. Thanks for watching and liking. And subscribing. And sharing with all of your friends. And don't forget, all of our social media links are right below this video. Yes, and join our free membership. Yes, you can join our free membership. We'll tell you about all the good things coming up. Doesn't cost anything. We have free giveaways every month. And you can find out about all the new things we've got coming up right here on Cooking with Shotgun Red. And visit shotgunred.com. Right. And we have dolls and DVDs and our cookbook and so much more. And she's still eating that stuff. <laughs> Look at her go. <laughs> she's like, I'm just going to sit over here and keep eating. Because <laughs> she's hungry now. Right. This, is, this is our second show of the day. And so she really wants to eat. Yes. So 
And by the way, don't forget to subscribe, like down below, that little button right down there. See this? Right yeah, here, right that there. One. That one right there. Subscribe to our channel. Oh, and leave us a comment, because we love him. We, we love, love reading these comments. comments and stuff. We have such a good time with that. And we will see you next time, right here on Cooking with Shotgun Red. Bye. Now, ready? All right, Mom, you got to try this. It's good. Mm. Ooh, I didn't think it was ever going to get through that. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Well, that's she, she and Jen, Jen, them two girls having too much fun. We hope you enjoy this recipe, and we really hope you subscribe to our channel. That's easy. Little Shotgun Red's face will pop up over here in a little bit. When you click on it, it'll say subscribe, then you're subscribed. Next to it will be a little notification bell. If you click that little bell, then YouTube will send you every single one of our recipes or a notification that we posted one as soon as it comes out. See you next time right here on Cooking with Shotgun Red. Is this the best? If it ain't, it ought to be.